so many videos coming up today, guys. First, I am doing the vintage review on the original Long Strike CS6. Six being the six star clip it came with back in 2009, I believe. The CS meaning clip system. Yeah, this is the original long strike. This one came out in 2009 and is massive. As you can see, I'm gonna point you down. This is how long it is, okay? It's up to about. I am six foot one, six foot two, something like that. And this goes halfway up. So this is about three feet in length. This is about a three foot blaster, give or take, maybe three, three and a half. It also came with these darts. These are streamlined darts. First released in 2006 with the long shot. And soon after, it was used in every single other clip system blaster made. Sure, it doesn't shoot well. It goes 35 feet at least, right? But, this is very fun to use. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Six starts fired. Streamlines, anyway. Even back in the day when these things were first released, they were horrible. Horrible. One of the worst darts I've had. But, I worked around it with a few different... We have stuff around that now, don't we? Such as... Elite darts and everybody have a bunch of off brands like me. Came out during the end strike era. Reverse plungers. <sighs> Reverse plungers are piss poor compared to a direct plunger. Do I have one around? This will have to do for the moment since there will be another video on this too. This is the Direct Plunger Blaster. If you remember, this is the Ruckus ICS-8. If I end up getting another one of these, I'll do a mod guide on it. Because I know what first mods I'm going to do to it. Make it have a removable clip. Then whenever I get another one, either kill it and take its clip, or I'll make that one have a removable clip. And that way, whenever I'm not using one and I'm using the other, I can just use that clip with this one. I know, I know. You know what? Oh well, deal with it. The long strike. is one of the oldest that I know of in the Unstrike line that I have. 
that is unmodified too, keep in mind. A lot of the blasters I own have been modified to at one point to one point or another. Make it be a Let's see. A recon, that's been modified. Deploy, that's unmodified, but will be modified very soon. And now this, unmodified. I don't know exactly when I'll put out another one. I will end up getting another uh, reverse plunger blaster of some type. So I want to be able to get the f every single inch strike blaster, so that way I have a full collection, you know? Um, this does have tack rails, too. So, mount a scope. Hold on. Mount a bipod. As I said, these things are old. Released in the Unstrike era, very old. But there is a way to get around that reverse plunger. Orange Modelworks has a kit giving you a full direct plunger setup. Or it can kill a retaliator. Killer Retaliator, you put it in here. Sleeper Blaster. Um, not a lot I can think of for this. Well, there's options I know of out there. There's this one. White Out one, which is in Ryan Inglestead's hands now. A, and I believe there's a sonic green and a clear long strike out there. I don't know. I believe it's just a green one. I'm not sure. But, these things are worth it if you modify them right. Do the correct mods to these things, and they are beastly. They can go up to a hundred feet, no problem, at an without an angle. Um, but you gotta keep in mind, as I've said, they don't go very far un unmodified. Thirty-five feet isn't all that good now. Compared to something that gets, uh, let's see, probably around 60 to, uh, 70 feet. Or something like a caliber, and that can get it up to, uh, a little bit over 100 without even a problem. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this, certainly. But I don't suggest you go out and look for one right away. It's not worth it, in my opinion. You can find these everywhere in the thrift store. You can find them in like a... Uh, uh, 
uh, Salvation Army. You can find some, something like that there. I found a Mastodon at a Salvation Army for six bucks, so you can definitely find some some good stuff there if you look. Depending on what state you're in, you can Goodwill. My Goodwill seems to not have Nerf Blasters, but some of the blasters that I have videos of coming up have been found in the uh, Goodwill. So, what I'm trying to say is, yes, these things are beautiful. They can be used in so many different types of integrations. There's a mod with this where you can take, where you carve down some of the stock, where you like sand down some of it and make it so that the stock is removable. A lot of stuff you can do. Unfortunately, there is also the chance you may not be able to find one of these that easily. The Whiteout Long Strike, those are not cheap. On eBay, Whiteout Long Strikes are close to $200, maybe $300. These are not as expensive, but the barrel itself is 30 bucks alone. It's insane, but if you're willing to shell out that type of dough, you should be fine. Unless you want to modify the hell out of it, I don't suggest getting one. Unless you have multiple re retaliators and want to, and, and want to like kill one to uh, make this thing shoot up like a beast, that works too. That's easy. Hell, there's a chance I might do that with this one. So, go ahead and find one if you want. These are pretty good blasters, all them pretty much. They work well for what they are. This thing is at a little bit over, is about 10 years old now at this point. It hits pretty hard. I shot it at a wall behind the camera here, and it hit the wall and bounced back. So it's definitely got the power still from uh, when it was first released back in the day. So, if you want to do this, go right ahead. Worth it when modified. Even they can just keep around for your collection. Do what you want, right? But, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you would, please. Um... I apologize to your inbox. I am going to be blowing them up, your inbox up today. With one, two, three, four, five videos. This is the first one. Four more to go. We love you all. See you all soon.